Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini, January 25, 2022. You may need to hold your tongue today. People's feelings are much more easily hurt at this time, and the slightest criticism could be misinterpreted as the most terrible insult. When in doubt, keep your mouth tightly shut. Turn your attention inward and focus on your own internal emotions. Try to keep your mental chatter to a minimum and concentrate more on how you feel rather than on what you think. The boat is likely to get quite rocked today, to the point at which you and all of your belongings are likely to go overboard. Be prepared to swim, for sure. Grounding and stability is the key to maintaining a healthy headspace, especially when it comes to your ever-fluctuating emotions. Issues having to do with the home and people's possessions are likely to surface today in a dramatic manner. Listen to your heart for the answers. Pressures to get unfinished tasks completed and new ones begun cause emotions to run high at the workplace. Everyone, yourself included, is likely to feel nervous and stressed out, and quarrels may break out. It might be best, if you keep your eyes and mind focused on the tasks at hand and not on the petty squabbles that are going on around you. This keeps your blood pressure down and makes a good impression on those above you. Whether you have children or not, you have a wonderful fatherly side. Today, this part of you might be expressed. You could be looking after a niece or nephew and teaching them things about life. Or you could be spending time with your own kids, building a closer relationship to them. You might also be thinking about your relationship with your own parents. You might speak to your parents today or visit them for a bit. Your social life is due to suffer some turbulence. You feel put down by friends and family or even get into arguments with them. Take a critical look at yourself perhaps you are asking too much of your loved ones. Hold back a little and resolve the issues by talking to them instead of trying to have your own way all the time. You're likely to be so lost in thought that you miss someone's clear signals. That doesn't mean you're missing out for good the messages will probably bring a smile when you think of them later. A tendency to rush into romance scares off potential candidates for your love. Such a forceful approach can have an adverse effect on the person you desire. If you're not looking for rejection, try to develop a gentler and serene attitude, then those you meet find you to be a far more attractive proposition to date. Tune into the aggressive energy of the day, and use it to push forward with your intentions. There is a great deal of emotional intensity that will bring you to your knees if you are not careful. The secret is to harness this energy and use it to your advantage. Try not to get caught between the crossfire of conflict that is likely to ensue. Tap into the slow-moving, generous force that is helping you to ground your thoughts and your emotions. Some wonderful vibrations are coming up in the days ahead. In your sentimental life, the news is good but don't be precipitous because questions of the heart don't like to be rushed. So, just let time do its tender work. In your professional life, events will be hectic and you will tend to be destabilized. Take action and stop relying on old ways of yesteryear. The world is changing, and you have to following along without frantically hanging on to values of the past. In this way, you will be able to profit a maximum from the excellent vibrations around you at the moment. If you haven't considered any plans for the weekend, consider doing this today. If you've been feeling tired or drained lately, it's probably because you need a break from all the pressures in your life. Too much focus on responsibilities can wear anyone out. A good sleep can help your body, but some laughter and socializing with your favorite people can rejuvenate your spirits. Make some plans for yourself. The Libra moon connects with Mercury, now in its pre-retrograde shadow. It's a wonderful day to speak from the heart and let others know how you feel. Even if you're shy about doing so, it's advised that you assert yourself in a peaceful manner. Although it might be nearly impossible, Turn off your phone and ignore your work emails for a while today. Detaching from the outside noise will give you a few moments to distress and chill. It will also help calm your anxieties throughout this energetically charged day. After a long break, it's time to get back in the romantic groove. Use your words to express your feels. Send a flirty text to your crush or boo to spark a passionate convo that lasts all day. 
They'll totally swoon over your lovely sentiments and cheeky words. Don't be afraid to assert yourself and talk about your emotions. Be brave. Don't let fear stand in the way of letting your sentiments be known. Understanding boundaries with friends is going to be super hard during this new moon, mostly because you're the one who's unable to adhere to the structure and limits in your relationships. The advice is to resist the urge to text too much. Be cognizant of the volume of communication you send over. While we can trust our head to steer us in the correct direction, we should aim to be heart-centered in our approach. The next two days are an excellent time for starting things, but not for seeing them through if they require extensive planning or patience. Also before dawn, Leo Mars forms a square to Ceres in Taurus, activating a T-square with retrograde Jupiter in Aquarius. The opposition between Mars and Jupiter will be exact tomorrow. This transit presents a conflict between two fundamental human instincts, self-preservation and the reflex to protect those we care about. We believe others must submit to us so we can help them. If they refuse our help, we lose our purpose, so we interpret this as defiance, an insult, or a threat. If someone does permit us to assist them, we will make sure they don't forget it. Reminders of how giving and generous we are subtly imply that we are owed a debt of gratitude, which inevitably breeds resentment, making the other party wish they hadn't asked in the first place. We should monitor our actions closely today. Self-reflection is the only way to determine whether we are out of line or overstepping another's boundaries.